So, like much of the world, I was watching the World Cup Finals today. And it was a really interesting game, a very brilliant matchup between Germany and Argentina. But something very interesting happened. Um, and it, did, it wasn't really in the game itself, it was actually during the commentaries. Um, one of the commentators, during the shot of the Christ Redeemer statue, one of the commentators said, you know, that's a nice shot of Christ Redeemer. But right now, what's more important is this game. Let's watch some football. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And then towards the end of the game, one of the commentators said, oh yeah, the soccer gods really put it in their favor today. And I was like, hmm, that's even more interesting. I feel like a lot of times we say things like, oh yeah, you know, price is nice, but what's really more important right now is this game. I got, you know, don't bother me right now, I'm watching the game. Or, oh yeah, price is nice and all, but what's really important to me is my job, and I gotta make this money, right? Gotta eat. Oh yeah, Christ is nice, but what's really important right now is my studies. I gotta make sure I get my, my straight A's and my degree. God, wait. Oh yeah, Christ is nice and all, but what's really important right now is the significant other. You know, I gotta make sure I keep my relationship on lock. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Christ is nice and all, but fill in the blank. There's, there's always seems to be something contending for Christ's position as number one in our lives. And for some people, soccer is a God. For other people, it may be something else, their own pleasure, their own satisfaction, their own intelligence, their own minds. Whatever, there's always something that is contending and fighting for that number one spot. And the reality is, well, what is it for you? And are you actually doing anything about it? Are you trying to keep God first or are you allowing other things to take his spot? What's the God in your life? Can you truly say it's Christ the Redeemer? Think on these things.